This is David with Tennessee Valley Solar and Mr. DIY Solar. I am here with three solar panels and I am going to be covering some of the things you're going to want to look for when looking at buying used solar panels. There are a couple different grades of panels that you can get. You can get used panels that are pretty much indistinguishable from new panels or you can get used ones that are pretty wore out and have several different issues. I'm going to cover what those issues are and things to look for in this video. Alright, I have these three panels here and I'm going to go walk through some of the issues that you will encounter when looking at purchasing used panels. First of all, here is a Trina solar panel that I purchased from Santan Solar. And they've sent me quite a few pallets of these panels in this condition. This cracking is in this glass behind the front glass. And so there's a sheet of glass and then the cells then there's a second sheet of glass and then a sheet of plastic. Like the sheet of plastic is on the back side of a thin sheet of glass that is behind the cells. And that back sheet of glass is completely cracked on these panels. And if I can get it to zoom in, you can see all this cracking back behind these cells. So that is one issue that this panel is facing. A second issue is that the bus bar across the top of this panel is very burnt. And there is some corrosion happening in there. Moisture gets inside of these cracks and starts to cause corrosion. And that's what's causing that green effect in, inside of there and these bus, burnt bus bars are also a problem and you can see darkening of the plastic that's back there and the, the burnt label so this panel is affected with at least two different issues with the bump, burnt bus bars and the cracked back sheet and, and the corrosion as well so this panel produces power, but it is not a healthy panel that's going to last a particularly long period of time. The second issue that we can encounter is what is called snail trails. And that's these things that looks like cracks. And the cracks form inside the cell and electricity flows through their those cracks and causes shorting and burning of the of the glass and it just sort of melts a path through that crack so this panel also still produces power but this panel is definitely not in good shape there are quite a few cells on this panel that have the snail trail effect going on I think there's 20 different cells on this panel that have this issue with this snail trail effect going on and this is just going to keep getting worse and worse and is going to continue to cause problems for this panel. The second issue that this panel has is burnt cells. So this darkening effect on these cells it are burnt marks on the cell itself which will be affecting the performance of this panel and is also not a good thing. So this panel also is not a healthy panel and it will continue to degrade and cause issues this 
will still produce power. This panel is probably dangerous with the corrosion and the cracking. It could potentially short out. The, the snail trails probably won't actually cause the panel to do a dead short, but it's not a a good. It, it's going to continue to just cause issues like this. So people sometimes have responses to my videos and they say, well, these are used panels. What do you expect? Well, if you're buying top shelf used panels, then you expect to get panels that are in good condition. As you can see across the top of this panel, it's got the snail trails, but the, the back sheet of glass is in very good condition. There's no cracking or other issues like that back there on the, on the back side of this panel. So I would expect to, when I buy a, a good used panel, I expect to see nice clean glass on the back sheet. Bus bars that are not burnt, which these are in good condition. Uh, I would expect to not see snail trails and I would expect to not see burnt cells which we have here so I've had several different sellers of used panels have problems repeatedly having problems getting me good used panels and sending panels that are just horrible condition pallets and pallets of panels that are not in the condition that I was told that they would be arriving in so again just because it's a used panel doesn't mean that you have to accept just destroyed panels just like you could buy a used car you could buy a, a used car that's burnt out and had a homicide happen inside of it so You should definitely be getting what you're paying for. Now, if you're buying panels that are snail trailed, if you buy those on purpose and you know that they're snail trailed when you purchase them and you're happy with that, then cool. But if you find somebody and they say, oh yeah, these panels are in great shape, perfect condition, look brand new, and they show up looking like either of these two panels, then you definitely have something to be concerned about. Another issue that you may see is what is called cut wires so when you get a solar panel you should be getting a panel that has wires on it and they, they come in different lengths but usually they will have what's called mc4 connectors on the end and a nice long set of wires positive and negative coming off the panel that allow you to connect them together. If you get a panel that's like this one, that the wires are cut, there's almost nothing that you can do with this. Now, I'm going to have to remove the cover off of this and pull out the little stubs of wires that are in there and replace that with a correct set of wires. And I have a set here. This was removed from a, uh, one of these panels which were broken. So I'm going to open this box up and put these in there. And that will allow me to get this panel working where it's got uh, good leads on it. And finally, a issue that you may encounter purchasing panels, even new panels, new or used panels, will be panels that get smashed, usually as part of poor handling on the part of the uh, freight company. And you will wind up with panels like these where they just completely smash and just one small piece of damage across that sheet of glass, the whole sheet goes and it smashes end to end 
and you wind up with panels with just all of these tiny little chunks of glass all over and because of that these panels are pretty much useless the cracking will prevent the panel from being able to get light through all the damaged glass and moisture will be able to get through those cracks and cause the panel to short out so these panels are just a waste and we'll have to go for recycling so if you do have some like this sometimes you get uh, panels that are either on the top or the bottom of the pallet that got smashed or you can wind up with panels that got dented because something hit the side of the pallet and dented pushed in the pushed in the side of the frame and crushed into the glass so it's kind of sad there's eight panels here that are just destroyed okay this has been six things to look for when purchasing used solar panels hopefully this has been informative I frequently upload videos that offer information about the purchase of solar panels uh, both new and used panels and the setup and configuration of solar systems if this has been useful please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next videos if you have any questions please post them in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Thanks so much. This has been David, Tennessee Valley Solar, and Mr. DIY Solar. See you next time.